Okay, so really good news today for a Commodore Amiga fan, so specifically the fans of the original Cyberpunk, which came out in 1993 by Mutation Software. So we got a new release today, and I've been following this one for a little while now, over on the Retro Indie website that I use. And today this game has been released, and of course it's the same team behind the original 1993 one, so I believe. And there's multiple different uh, formats of this game, so you've got WHD loads to run on, say, WinUAE or whatever emulation platform you use to play Amiga games. And we've also got this on Amiga CD32, which you can buy a physical copy of. And everything's on their website. It's also got a demo. So take a look at the website, and I'm going to just check this game out myself. I've never played the original, not that I'm aware of. So if you download the playable demo, you will download a couple of .adf files. So like I was saying, you can use these on WinUAE or FSUAE. And if you're new to those or want to know more about those two emulators, check out my playlists to learn how to use those to play these type of games. So I've set my FSUAE up as an Amiga 1200. So it's got a standard process of setting this one up to run Cyberpunks 2. And of course, the sound you can hear, that's FSUAE emulating the sound of the floppy disk drive, which is that mechanical sounds which is pretty cool and here we go then so as you can see this is the demo version So yeah, there's a two-player option on this game. Like I said, I'm totally new to this game. I don't ever recall playing the original. So yeah, like I was saying, if you've got a CD32 ISO copy of this, if you've got the real thing, um, I'd expect the music to sound much, much better than what it already does, given the CD quality. So, uh, yeah, if you're new to this game or you never heard of it, expect to shoot them up, because that's how it's advertised as. Uh, something like maybe Chaos Engine style? So, to play this, if I keep my finger on the fire button, it's just shooting automatically for me, so you don't need to be button bashing on this. Uh, so one of these players, that's the blue one, that's me, and the other two are being controlled by the computer. So, uh, yeah, like I say, I've no idea about this game, not really. All I know is this is shoot 'em up, so. So, it looks like we need to find bits and pieces in order to progress in this game. So, well, I'm stuck in this little map right now, so there's obviously something I need to be finding in order to open things up. And we haven't been down here at all. Okay, so I just found some sort of cards, and I'm guessing I can now use this card. 
No, wrong place. Cool. Okay, so I just picked up something a minute ago and I'm sure... No, I can't use that. So obviously this is going to be a screen to buy stuff, but I wouldn't have thought I'd got any money yet. Uh, so we're using crypto currency in this game by the seams of it. And yeah, right now we've actually got zero crypto, so... You know, something you don't see very often is... Uh, well, you see Commodore... Um, you see Amiga games coming out, modern ones. But maybe not to the high standard is this one. Uh, like I said, if you look at the uh, Mutation Software's website, a lot of effort has been put into this one to give it different Amiga releases, such as the CD32. Right, so we don't want to go back in there. Have I just opened something? Uh... So yeah, quite literally, this is my first ever go at this game, so yeah, I'm completely uh, oblivious to what it is I'm doing. But I kind of just want to get this out there straight away because um, it's a brand new game. Like, like I said, literally just the demo that's got released a few hours ago. And I know I've got uh, some Amiga subscribers on my channel, so... Oh, we can go across there, cool, okay. So I can now use this card to go in there, boom. Okay, so little tip for people who's playing this. Look right down the bottom of the map and do what I didn't do to begin with. These are hidden away, as you can see. Oh, cool. Power. So, uh, through my laptop, it's a good sound, but I'd imagine if you got this connected to maybe a sound bar, uh, those explosion sounds are going to sound a lot better as Amiga games do. They really give emphasis on that. Sort of explosion sounds. Yeah, so, so far I'd, I'd probably um, say this was kind of close to the Chaos Engine. Uh, but obviously not as manic so far as the Chaos Engine was. So, yeah, I thought that was going to be the end of the demo, so it's actually quite a lengthy demo regardless.
So, uh, yeah, if you're new to my channel and you enjoy Commodore, I do a ton load of C64 modern releases as well. So check that out. Uh, the reason I don't do so many modern Amiga games is that compared with C64, there isn't too many, so I see. So, and of course, Commodore 64 is the one in every Commodore machine. So there you go. <laughs> Yeah, so if you remember in the Chaos Engine game, uh, you had to find keys and that type of thing to open up bits and pieces of the map. Uh, so I'd, I'd probably say the original game of this was probably heavily inspired from the Chaos Engine, which I believe came out just shortly before the original version of this game did. I could be wrong, but I'm sure I'm right. Might have to look into that. Yeah, it's one of those games where you pick something up to open up some door somewhere to walk for about 10 minutes and realise that it's not the right door. It's one of them games. Okay, I think I just needed that actually to go back. So if I go back, I'll find that door again. I think that's what I needed to open up the next part of this map. Uh, I'm not sure uh, if this has got a net play mode. Um, things like RetroArch, which I actually done a couple of tutorials on using. Um, it's got a net play option. I'm not sure if this is netplay enabled, but it would be pretty cool if it was. Uh, like I said, a couple of other people could take control of these two uh, characters behind me. Pull her in. And of course, like I said, it looks like this is a two player as well. So, um, yeah, good stuff. Okay, I'm getting a little bit confused now where it is I'm going. <laughs> so, right, we got a red card to unlock something somewhere, but like I was saying, it's totally one of those games where you can easily get lost. Oh, what I've got here, so maybe I can buy some now. Crypto, I've now got 680 Crypto. Uh, what can I buy? A decode key disk? Maybe I'll try this. Unable to complete transaction, you need to move a, have a key disk. Alright, so maybe I don't buy that. 
I'm going to just log out of this system just here and I'm going to just go back to the game and uh, see if I can just explore a bit more where to go. Okay, so normally when there's uh, babies, normally I think that indicates that I've not been to that area yet. But I think I've actually been just here just a minute ago. <laughs> no, it's a dead end. Nice bit of Amigo advertising just there on the screens. I am literally going around in circles here. No. Uh -oh. You've been down here? Possibly not. Possibly not. Oh, what's that? I'm sure someone just dropped. No. Okay, I went in that ring a minute ago, but I don't think I actually went into this one, or possibly I did. You know, I actually play games like this, which are fresh to me, and they're just so much more enjoyable than modern day games. It's just a real refreshing change to be playing classic games from back in the day, but they're brand new games like this one, and much more exciting. And I suppose playing games like this, you don't get a load of kids going around saying, cop this, cop that, MW this, MW2 that, so that's a bonus from these games. I tell you what, let's modernize this game. Let's call this CP2. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay, so I'm going to end it just there, but that's um, some real awesome gameplay uh, from the Team B right behind the original back from 1993, like I say, Mutation Software. It's a really cool game, as you can see, if you like the Chaos Engine, and doubtly you would like this one as well. Uh, from my end, on my own OLED screen, it's very bright as well. Uh, but like I said, if you want to try this out and you're not sure how to, you can either buy a real Amiga or a real Amiga CD32, but good luck, they're around five, six hundred pounds these days. <laughs> or you can follow my emulation tutorials on getting this up and running on your Windows PC using WinUAE or FSUAE. I'll leave the links in my description for both of those tutorials. So until next time, see you later.